move the ugly mat back. Carolyn's giving me a, a tarp that we'll put underneath the ugly mat to give it some protection from these rocks. I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. Do you need a mattress for your RV, for your house? They've got sizes to fit it all. You get a 120 night sleep trial, 10 year warranty, free shipping, and best of all, it's made right here in the good old US of A. So go to rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code campervankevin for 20% off your purchase. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled program. Now I got them both. Get the ball. Get the ball. You're gonna get it. Yeah, you, you just try. Get it, Wilson. You just get try. Get it. Get the ball. I'm gonna slobber all over it. Careful, oh, man. Look at that yeah, range too much of a What you gonna do now, big boy? Get your ball. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Mm -hmm. If that wasn't confusing, I don't know what was. <laughs> so listen, I was uh, on the internet this morning, like I am every morning, and most of the day for that matter. But uh, I was on Facebook Marketplace for Sholo Pine Top. And guess what I found? I found a inflatable, I think it's a four-person hot tub. Now, if you remember a couple of videos back, I talked about getting one for a uh, vagabond base camp but they were like four or five hundred dollars and i was uh you know spending the money on gravel and dirt and buildings and everything i was like you know this not a need it's a want but for a hundred bucks it's a want i want it so uh eric here he, uh, he travels a lot with a, a hot tub. He's had several. You won't get any resistance about a hot tub from me. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he actually, I, I sent him a picture of it, and he said, oh, it's a certain brand. What brand? It's a Spa. Sally Spa. And he said it's worth 500 bucks new. And it looks slick. So that's what we're going to do today. Eric and I, we're going to go pick it up. You want to go? Come on. Go with us. This Tell you what. picking me up, and I don't like it. Baby May May, you're going to get to go with us. I put Tucker and Martini in the house. Stay, boy. Stay, Tuck. Martini has had a has had tummy trouble for the last few days. I don't know what she ate. Are you doing better? Yeah, she's doing better. But Tucker, just not enough room. I hear that. I hear that jacuzzi box is way too big for the tracker, but we're gonna to try to make it fit. So you just have to stay here. They'll let you out so you can sit with them as soon as we leave, okay? Man, I'll be good. I'll sit in Eric's lap and everything. No, no, not this time, buddy. Did you know that my, my Tucker? Hurt? It's hurt right here. Did Tucker, you know get in the truck. Oh, poor Tucker. <laughs> Man, I hate you sometimes. <laughs> who, who, do you, who do you have? Oh, did, did you know that my foot still hurt? Right, it's right here. See, see, right there. So, so you better take me with you. <laughs> Wouldn't be a bad idea to stop at Doctor Despain's to see if he could see her for a second. Oh yeah. Bye, baby. Maybe. See y'all. Right. See you. Felix uh, got me a Bose Bluetooth battery powered speaker. And I sit here and I use my YouTube music. I've got YouTube Premium for $12 a month. And it comes with some of the best music you could ever 
<laughs> Goodness, could ever hope for. So instead of using my radio, I Bluetooth my phone that I'm using as a camera right now. And that's the music inside red, the Geo Tracker. And you record everything. Yep, yep. we got a, a, this records forward and backwards, Eric. Wait, was that recording when I was driving the car? Uh, you had to leave. Don't it. look at that video. Okay, don't look at that video. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I just wanted to see what Red could do. Oh. I wanted to boost your confidence, so we had to pass one car. Oh. <laughs> I deleted it yesterday. Okay, good. It, it, it filled up with memory, and I had yeah. to do something. All right. So me and Eric are leaving the house here. When I went and got the uh, got a new angle, I'm trying out here. Hopefully, the image stabilization works or helps so I went to pick up purples faster Eric went with me to pick it up he drove red back uh, so he, he kind of likes it you know it's not quite as fast as his uh, smart car but just an update on uh, purples faster I've decided to do a the most major of major tune-ups on it. I'm changing differential fluid, transmission fluid filter, putting on a new timing set, water pump, thermostat, belts, hoses, fan clutch, radiator, lift, tires. So my $2,500 deal. Uh, but here's the thing, got 138,000 miles on it. And I want this car capable of going long distance if I need to. So I could have bought a used car for five thousand and didn't know what I got, or buy a twenty-five hundred dollar car, throw a little money at it. I know exactly what I got. These Geo Tracker engines, at a minimum, make two hundred thousand. I see them from time to time with two hundred fifty thousand. So. I don't have Purple's Faster back yet, but when I have it back, it will be absolutely, positively right. Okay, Eric and I, and baby May May, we've reached Taylor. Is she being good? She is being sweet. I want to keep her. I'm going to keep her. I want to Your keys are what? Dogs for cat people. You heard it here first. You can't have her, though. Meow, meow, meow for him, baby, baby. Meow. Meow. Yeah, I'm, I'm so cool. Meow. Yeah, okay. I can know my paw. Meow. Yeah, I forget. Meow. Yeah. Okay, so Eric is filming for me because I shouldn't be filming and driving. <laughs> now we got a pro. Let's we'll see if it's, it's stable. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but it's real stable when I hold it. I don't know. He's used to having this fancy equipment, so we're just using the phone. But anyway, we're close to picking up the uh, close to picking up the hot tub. We got to thinking about it. We got to check for mice, mm -hmm. missing parts, gaskets on on, on waters. Yeah, it's, so we're almost there. Pulled in here to the Taylor Snowflake Walmart. Saw Burger King, and I'm like, uh, I don't need any breakfast, but uh, coffee sure would sound sure does sound good. Well, you can always find something on their menu, right? <laughs> the dollar menu, you don't even get napkins for a dollar now. <laughs> Remember the dollar menu? Yeah, good old days. You want a coffee? Sure. Yeah. All right. You gonna place your order, baby, May May? Um, see if they have any pup puppuccinos. I'll look on the menu. Okay. You, you got a sore throat today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you sound my, a little off. My ventriloquist needs some work, but but I'll but I'll take whatever they got. <laughs> okay. I don't see any. It's how much your big? How much your uh, whoppers now? Fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Burger King. Yeah. You know, it's not it's not McDonald's coffee. <laughs> but then again, it's not McDonald's. The only thing I like at McDonald's are their, is their coffee. So this Walmart here, I've said in other videos, I've stayed here a good bit. I think they, they used to have no no signs where you they had signs where you couldn't camp. Now you can. It is better than McDonald's coffee. Is it better? It's better. 
Well, I guess never go back to McDonald's again then. I can't think of any reason. I guess not. I'm McCappy at Burger King. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Dave. Yes, sir. You mind if we take it out and take a look, make sure no rats got in it yeah, or anything yeah, like ahead. that? Uh, all right. So that's the top cover. And an inflatable insulator. So I've got the expert right here. He's got a knife on you. I left it in the. He's gonna get one. We're gonna check, make sure it's all there and not tore up. It's camo. That's cool though. The heater works and all that. Mm-hmm. We just had to pull it out and check it for rats and stuff. Yeah. Looks good. How many hours do you think it has on it? Um, probably 40 or so, 40, 50 maybe. Okay, so you only had it hooked up a couple days. Yeah, yeah not, well, it didn't run all the time either. Might need some new gaskets on here though. I ain't trying to beat you on the price. Oh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm gonna pay you. Either I'm gonna buy it or I won't buy it. I ain't, yeah, I ain't trying to beat to you on consider, the money. But, yep, they're all there. All right, we'll take the uh, we'll take it out and look for rats. Well, that was disappointing, Eric. <laughs> yeah. Good thing you took it out of the box. The uh, gaskets that are on there. This one's half of the gasket on there. It's gonna leak and. No time. Yeah, we turned it around and found some, some duct tape on the bottom. Found yeah, duct tape in three places. Yeah. You know, I, it says excellent condition, barely used. Uh, I guess that's why you had it taped up, huh? That's why you just wanted you to grab it and go and not look at it. Yeah. yeah. There's a reason for everything. Yeah. I didn't have to have one. So uh, while I'm over here in uh, Snowflake, I'm over here at Dr. Despain's office. He's not expecting me, but maybe he could take my nose itches. Maybe he can take a look at Baby May May's foot. What we won't do for our critters, right? That's our job. <laughs> Let him live, Baby May May. Let him live. Don't hurt him. Well, well, Eric and I are kind of batting the big fat zero today. Uh, Dr. Despain's in surgery. He wasn't expecting us, to be fair. Uh, I don't expect any prefer preferential treatment, but I thought maybe he might just be, you know, had a minute to check baby Mamey's foot. Surgeries. I, yeah, he's got surgery, and I told the lady, I said, hey, that's a lot more important than what I got. So listen, if you're going to sell something, whether it be a car, house, boat, pair of shoes. If the guy would have said, listen, uh, I've patched it three times and I don't know if the patches are good, I'd have been like, I'd have still considered it. But the fact that he wasn't honest about it and didn't tell me right up front, I mean, it's his hot tub. So he had to know it had the patches on it. Um, I may have bought it knowing that it had patches on it but when i opened it up it's supposed to be in that slick condition and there were patches well then i don't trust him at all so if you're going to sell something just go ahead and you know tell people what's wrong with it be honest up front in case they find out <laughs> right right okay well it's kind of a day in the life video so I'll, i'm going to end it where right here I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. So we'll see you next video. Bye from Snowflake, Arizona.
Eric's hooking up the pump. He's an old pro at this. How many times have you moved a hot tub? Well, because every time I undo mine, I gotta put it away and reset it up when I get back to base camp, so at least a dozen times. Was yours a Coleman? It's a Coleman Sally Spa, but... It's not this big. No, this is a six or seven person, and it's got an upgraded pump with cup holders. Woohoo! We need the cup holders, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Try hitting the... Just find one, I guess. ...insulated cover on it. Here comes Carolyn, she's I got... I through every compartment I had, and I'm like, wait a minute. She's got a, she's got a mat to put under it. They're all covered I know. in wow. tape and glass. The heater's not on, is it? There's just... No, it's not on. Okay. Move the ugly mat back. Carolyn's giving me a, a tarp that we'll put underneath the ugly mat to give it some protection from these rocks. From the wall, you're gonna have it. Needs to come this way toward me. You sure? Yeah. Okay. You okay with the cord where it's at? Yeah, they'll hide the cord, keep me yeah. trying to bury it. Yeah. Okay. You'll be able to tell where to put it. Mm -hmm. you might need to pull the mat that way a little bit. Pull, pull it, Matt, a little bit towards you. This little bit will square it up. Yep. Right there. Stop. It's soft on my feet. Leaving enough room here so we can get the underpinning on under here. I'll put some rocks over my ugly part of the ugly mat. There we go. Thank you very much, Eric. You betcha. We're burning the boxes for the Coleman hot tub. Hot box for the hot tub. I think that's the biggest fire yet, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> we could have used it to heat the water if we'd have thought ahead. Oh, yeah. <laughs>